Hello everyone and welcome to my day in the life of a software engineer video. I like to start my day by doing general tasks such as reading my emails, Slack messages and checking my calendar. Knowing exactly what I have scheduled helps me get an idea of how much work I can actually get done during that day. Once that's done, I drink some coffee, put my headphones on and start a full focus session to tackle the most difficult tasks of the day. I like to start with the most difficult task early because this is when I have the most energy and I'm able to focus since mornings are relatively quiet. My first break from pure productivity comes in the form of the stand-up. Stand-up meetings are very helpful as everyone shares what they've done, what they're doing and if they have any blockers. It is particularly a great time to share any blockers you have as it is one of few occasions when all team members are present at the same time. After stand up we can also have our planning meetings, during which we plan our next sprint and refine the new issues that we may have. Depending on what time we finish our planning, I like to have a snack or lunch right after and take a break from the screen. Normally after lunch I tend to have some non-project meetings with the wider team or one-on-one -on -one meetings with my manager. At this time I sometimes like to go get some coffee as a way to disconnect from the computer and get back to work with a fresh mindset. I find that this really helps especially when stuck on debugging. After my short break I like to get back into full focus mode so that I can finish as much work as possible before the end of the day. I like to finish any small tasks that I have remaining so that I can focus on the more difficult work at the start of the next day with a fresh mindset. I find that this really helps as it gives you some time to sleep on ideas. Once I finish work, I do the usual routine like taking a shower and eating right away. I then try to read for at least 30 minutes. This can be reading a book or catching up on the news. The rest of the day can vary, but this is usually when I would take time to film or edit videos such as this one. I'm not always super productive however, as I also like to spend time playing Formula 1 and other games such as Valorant with my friends. Although this might not be entirely unproductive though, you never know when Red Bull might need a backup driver. This is what an average day looks like in the life of a software engineer when working from home. It might not seem as exciting or interesting as other videos make it out to seem, but the reality of being a software engineer is that you spend most of your time staring at a screen. I hope you all enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Stay tuned for tech reviews and setup videos. I will see you in the next one.